while getting lost might be my favorite thing we've done. Looks treacherous. I don't want to drive over this. Wow! Wow! I did some birds. These two are making up hand claps and dances. <laughs> Caleb made a movie this afternoon. Today we are back in the studio to paint our Imagongo art. We let it dry for a couple of days and now we're painting. My only good piece of art ever. I hope to do as well as this. Yes. Janae, there's yours. There's Lisey's. All right. Now it's dry. I did some birds and then I did a sun and a mountain. It looks awesome. Shaking up some paint for us. So the first step is to paint your entire piece white, which comes from a white soil mixed with some water. It won't turn out like a weird brown color. Yeah, we need a solid base color. Caleb, what's the brush made out of? A stick and goat hair. Yeah. Here's your white paint. Go for it, Janae. So you're painting the whole thing can we white. Start? Yeah, you can start. Wait, do I color the poop? Everything. Yeah, everything. Everyone's feeling pretty happy with the designs. It's fun to see how they turned out. All right, we've got the white ready to go. All right, we're mixing up a bunch of different kinds of colors and starting to paint. Make what's in our minds come out on the boards. I realize I might need a lot of dry a little bit more. Yeah, I love the yellow you created. I think it looks like a basketball. Definitely does. Elise is finishing up painting the outside border, but I love the different colors on your wave, Elise. Thanks. It gives it such a dimension. It turned out great, buddy. And here's mine. I'm actually really happy with it. Our instructor pointed out that the colors on mine are the same as the Rwandan flag, which was really fun to me. I like that. It was a happy accident. But the green in the Rwandan flag is for prosperity and for like agriculture. The yellow in the Rwandan flag is for hope. And what was the blue for again? I don't remember? Don't remember? Okay, I'll tell you later. Right in the middle of Kigali, there are some unpaved roads in some of the neighborhoods that feel very adventurous. We met a woman who owns a bakery, and she tried to describe to us where it is, and so we're trying to find it, but we're struggling. But we want to go support her bakery. So some of the roads transition into footpaths, and we can't really tell. We sent Isaac up ahead, and he thinks we can drive this way. So these little kids right here are spying in on us because we're <laughs> randomly driving through their part of town. Trying to find. Clearly this doesn't get driven on a lot. It's so beautiful though. It's lush and green. You can see people working out in the fields. You can watch people getting water. See all the laundry getting done. A lot of people recommended that we only have a driver while we're here in Rwanda. I'm so glad we didn't. There is the freedom of being able to go where we want, but it's also fun to get lost in a place. It's an adventure. It is definitely an adventure. We're just, Isaac is still just running ahead of us. <laughs> Isaac just came to a spot, he just said stop. So a lot of places <laughs> work for motorcycles. We're on a street. And it's a street that has businesses, so we thought it would be like walkable. I mean, drivable. Like there's a dry cleaner coming up. It's always fun when I remember we're in Kigali, the largest city in Rwanda, and parts of Rwanda feel really built up and technologically advanced. You know, there's some big buildings here, but then there still is these parts that you do not feel like you're in some capital city. We found some people who are speaking English. They're helping us out. Well, getting lost in Kigali might be my favorite thing we've done for a little while. This is so beautiful and the people are so wonderful. And it's so interesting to see their daily life activities. And we keep saying Amakuru and greeting them and they smile and say hello to us. And We passed one of the public water fountains and so we're seeing people carry their water. Isaac's checking the path ahead. We did stop at one point in Jeremy and I got out just to make sure stuff was gonna work. There are some ledges that you just have to be aware of, but. This is so amazing. I just realized that we haven't done a house tour of our house here. It is beautiful and amazing. It's in the Kichikuro neighborhood of Kigali and we're gonna have to show you around. I feel like we can 
handle most of these roads, but the rest of the family is nervous and not fully trusting me. I'm gonna walk ahead and make sure that we can make it. We have some people helping us now and they showed us that this part would be dangerous to drive through. So I think we're gonna just turn around. Here's another part of the road that looks treacherous. I don't wanna drive over this. We decided to turn around. We found an open area to turn around and that didn't look passable. So now we're gonna retrace our steps back, which at least we know we can go that way. And maybe we'll find the bakery we're looking for. That's the goal. We're feeling oh. really grateful that we have four wheel drive. The King Rwanda word for white person actually also can mean like wander astray. I think we fit that description pretty well right now. We do. As we come back, I find myself stunned that we already came this way. <laughs> we already went through this? What were we thinking? We didn't really have a choice. <laughs> there was no place to turn around. So the majority of the roads in Kigali are paved and wide and well marked and have beautiful painted curbs and they're just lovely. There's no potholes. That's the majority of the roads. There's just some pockets where there's these lovely village communities that still have the dirt roads. So we found someone who spoke a little bit of English who understood the word bakery and she said yes I can show you where the bakery is and it was up here a little further and so she took us in and then she translated for us to try to talk to the owner of the bakery and we found it so yay so the bread has to cool before yeah. it can be sliced and so they store the bread here to cool how long is it Look how far back it goes, you guys. So Ruth is from Uganda and she came here and in 2020 started this bakery and ran into COVID right away. Okay. We put more milk. This is called sweet bread. Ah. We don't put All right, this is the slicer. That's very satisfying. Sliced bread. Every loaf has to go through one of yeah. these two machines. So that's kind of a bottleneck of the system. It has to go through that. Yeah, it has to go through Okay, this is also another type of bread. That smells good. Rolls, buns, like for hamburgers. So here are the mandazi, which is like the Rwandan donuts. But you see them down there. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Is this the cookie room? Yeah. Oh, it is the cookie room. Mm -hmm. The kids are all very happy. The kids see, they can pick cookies there. Thank you. Mm. And, and the Thank adults, you. too? <laughs> here, here. Kinda, yeah. It reminds me of a brown sugar cookie. Okay, I got a half one. Good. It's a very good cookie. I know, here you go. Thank you. One gives us azam, another one gives us azania. Okay. Oh, is this one of the biggest bakeries in the world? Oh, okay. This is the bread. Oh, we have these are like cupcakes down here. This is the mandazi. Ooh, the donuts. Oh, this is the donut room. Kendra has fallen in love with mandazi. The dough. Don't touch it. That mixing madness. That is so cool. Okay. So much dough. It's amazing. So then it has to rise, do you think, from here? I'm sure it does. That's fun. It's really hot. Yes. So there's no timer on the wow. ovens. They just put it in and then keep on going. Mm -hmm. You guys, these are the donuts. And look, firewood and fire is how the oven and the oil vat works. So she feeds them here breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. And so this is the meal. And then is there like beans in there or something? Yeah. So yeah. this is the fire area down here. That heats the whole oven. Kendra's dad, Papa does consulting for businesses and he would love to get his hands on this place. It's a donut. 
Well, this tour has been amazing and Ruth over these last three years has built such an incredible business and she's able to employ all these people who have jobs because of the work that she does and she's talked about the challenges, the margins are so tight and the difficulties and unexpected things happen and just her example and her work ethic and her ability to face the struggles and failures and keep pushing through is something that inspires me. I hope the kids glean at least a little bit of this example we're learning here from Ruth. Whoa. So our kids are in the Kigali Hoops League here in Kigali and we have loved it. They have practice on Tuesdays and games every Saturday and the kids just are having a great time. These two are making up Ready. hand claps and dances. <laughs> so the gutters here are a bit deep and treacherous, but fun to dance on. Holy cow. So we've seen this fruit at the market, but we didn't know what it is. How does it taste? It grows kind of like a banana. Very interesting. Yeah. Give it a try. It's really good. It smells interesting. Try it. It tastes just like a banana. Look how yummy this looks. So there's the yummy rice with the, the meat, with the potato, and the veggie. We have been so lucky to have Valerie here. So this Airbnb just comes with someone who is cooking and someone who handles the security. Faustine does the security. Valerie does the cooking. It's made Rwanda so special. We're eating her Rwandan food and we love it. So the other thing too, you'll notice there's herbs in here. She literally gets that from the yard. Yeah, so we have a whole row of thyme in our yard. Yeah, and I think this is rosemary. So they do a lot of vegetables here. We've had dishes that are all cabbage and green beans or peas and there's always a bunch of onions and garlic in it. It's very flavorful. And I like it. And there's always fruit. So this is the jackfruit. This is one of my favorite spots to sit in this house. I just sit at the end of the porch and watch the kids playing basketball. There's always someone playing basketball. Nice. This front yard is so pretty. This tree right here is my favorite. It's like an evergreen, but different. It's so pretty. Damn, Caleb made a movie this afternoon and we're all watching it. It's yeah. awesome. Do you think I'm gonna be a star someday? Well, I better get trained, man. Good night. Do you have out? Right now we are here seeing the gorillas in Rwanda. <laughs> all right, so this is a shelter they build out here. So for... there's a golden monkey right there. Good. Oh, that looks nice. 